hello friends in today's tutorial i'm going to be teaching you how to make edit to your structural drawing that has been exported from autocad so this is our drawing that we have exported these are slab section that was designed so these are slab details so these are the rebars and these are our slab directions and these are some other things that we need to do so i want to show you how to edit them so quickly so i'm going to go to my this is my layer property manager so this is my layer property manager so i have several things here so that i would like to change like this my particular bean which has a color green so i want to change them to be visible i'll be able to look at them and see them so i'm going to look for bean here on this my layer because there are so much layers here so i'm going to look for bean beam should be in the b so i'm going to change the layer let me expand this a little bit so that our color pops up so there's a color which is using 96 so i want to change it to to look like something uh more uh, visible to me so i'm going to make it lighter i'm going to make choose a color 100 so it's now visible to me so i want to also make this my bars here i want to make them to be i'm going to hit escape so because multiple is selected so you have to click on them to know the particular layer this layer here reads like the r bar top this is a re bar top so i'm going to hit escape to clear that grip so i'm going to go to the re bar top which is r so reba top these are all of them so we have the reba bottom reba top so this is a reba top so i want to turn to become red so that i will see it so this is red now so this is red i want the bottom also to become red so i'm going to go back so that's pretty easy for us because we have done the top so this is the bottom so i'm going to make it to become red i'm going to make it also to become red so this is red uh, it is looking very beautiful you know so this is blue also if you want to change the rebar spline if you want to change it it will become maybe uh, another color you can also do that to be able to become visible for for you because we have our slabs and a spline line to be different color so i want to have one i'm going to hit escape on that so i'm going to go to this uh reba span lines so the reba span line so i'm going to go to reba span line so uh, quite a lot of them so you have to make sure you're very careful so this is blue so uh, i'm going to choose a color that's pretty okay for me so i'm going to choose yellow so this is yellow and now it's very visible because we have a dark background and we have separated every colors that we need to separate so we can now begin to make some few edits on that now these are beam text we can also just select a beam text make it a little bit visible because this is green so which is beam text i'm going to go to beam text so i'm going to go to beam beam text is that b all are listed alphabetically so beam text which is green uh, uh, let me make it cyan so that it's going to be visible so i'll make it cyan so it's now visible so our colors all layers have been separated so we have some things that we don't need here like this particular one i'm gonna hit escape because multiple layers are selected so this is the rebalance text top so i want to turn it off so i don't need it so i just want to turn it off i can go about deleting i can eat on it just delete but it's going to take me some time so the easiest way to do that is just click on it look for the layer and just turn off the particular layer that that is which is the rebar length text top so rebar go to r rebar length the rebar length there's a rebar label so the rebar length there's a bottom so there's a top this is what we are looking for so i'm going to click on it is it so i'm going to say cancel so i'm going to come to this thing that looks like electric bulb so i'm going to turn it off i'm going to freeze it so 
it's pretty fast huh so because now it disappears and it's still there in the drawing but you will not see it again because all is disappeared one so that's how to make fast edit on what you particularly want on your as a structural drawing so please drop on a comment your difficulties and your challenges that you have encountered on this particular section see you in our next tutorial video